all experience loneliness at one point or the other. I remember how lonely I felt when I moved to Germany and it was not a pleasant feeling. If you're going through loneliness at the moment, you're probably feeling empty, you probably feel inferior or worthless. You might start to have negative thoughts such as uh, I'm not lovable or you think that nobody loves you. You might even start believing that you're not compatible with anyone if you're, if you're a single person. But the truth is you are valuable and you are of immense worth regardless of your current situation. Your worth and your value does not fluctuate, it does not decline, it does not decrease just because you have many friends or not. So don't buy in into those negative thoughts. Your loneliness, however, might be trying to communicate something to you. It might be trying to tell you that you need to connect with yourself, you need to connect with somebody else, you need to belong to a community, or you need to connect with God. So it might be one of those things or a variety of those things. So a different mixture of this, uh, those things. And today I want to talk about things that you could do so that you can be able to minimize or eradicate your loneliness. The first thing you could do is notice when you experience loneliness. Do you experience loneliness in the mornings, in the evenings, on weekends, on public holidays, um, or when is it exactly do you experience lo loneliness? There is a pattern here and it's so important that you actually identify it because when you do, then you'll be able to get proactive about how you spend your evenings or how you spend your weekends, uh, how you spend those moments of the day or of the week when you feel lonely. When we don't identify uh, the pattern, then we're likely to do contraproductive stuff when we feel lonely. We're likely to do, thing, to do things like binge watching on TV shows or TV or abuse alcohol or other substances, which in end effect only prolongs the loneliness or intensifies it. So that's the first thing. Notice when you experience loneliness. The second thing you could do is notice activities that enable you to connect with yourself. So you really need to get self-aware here and notice moments when you are alone, but don't feel lonely and write down what exactly you're doing in those moments. Um, because there's many activities that actually help us to connect with ourselves. It could be writing, it could be reading, it could be hiking, you know, and so on and so forth. There's quite a few things that are actually, that help us to connect with ourselves and not to feel lonely. And if you write down these this, this activities, then you have a list which you could go back to when you're feeling lonely or when you're actually trying to plan your weekend. So if you know that on the weekends, it's most times that I feel lonely, then you have a list which you could go back to and check out like, okay, so what could I do this weekend so that I don't find myself binge watching on TV or abusing alcohol or whatever, or just being really lonely. What could I do? What's on my list? And if you have a variety of these activities, then you have, you have a choice. You could actually choose one of those activities. You might think to yourself, I don't feel like reading this weekend. I don't feel like hiking this weekend, but I could do some writing, for example, uh, and choose that from your list. And that's why it's so important to write down the activities that help you to connect with yourself. So that's the second thing. Write down a list of the things that enable you to connect with yourself. The third thing you need to do is reflect on or be conscious of the different interactions that you have with different people. Does an interaction with someone leave you feeling positive or does it leave you feeling negative? And by positive, I mean, um, when you're done talking with someone, having a phone call with someone, uh, meeting up with someone, uh, do you feel uplifted? Do you feel loved? Do you feel accepted? Do you feel connected with that person 
Or do you come out feeling drained, tired, judged, um, burdened? Do you feel as if you really had to pretend to be somebody else when you were with that person? Those kind of relationship or interactions are actually negative for us. And the last thing you want to do is seek out such an interaction, such a negative interaction when you're feeling lonely, because that will only make you feel even more lonely. What you want to do is seek out the positive interactions because they will help you satisfy your need for connection. The fourth thing you need to do is join a community. I remember how helpful it was for me to find an international church here in Germany. Um, because when I did, I could immediately connect with the people who attended that church. It was an English speaking church and there were Kenyans even there. I come from Kenya, so there were, there were Kenyans in that church and I could immediately connect with, with the people um, in that church, um, which satisfied my need for belonging to a group. Um, so that could be also be an option for you. If you live in a foreign country, you might want to find out whether there is um, an international church near your place. Another thing you could do is um, join a charity. So charities are normally a group of people who come together to support a certain cause. You could ask yourself, what am I passionate about? And is there a charity around me, near me, that serves that cause, which I could join? That could actually enable you to satisfy your need for belonging. The fifth thing you could do is connect with God. We are spiritual beings and we have a psychological need for spirituality, which includes connection to God. So there's a, there's a loneliness that we experience that cannot be satisfied by belonging to a certain group. It cannot be satisfied when we connect with other people. It will not be satisfied when we connected to when we do activities that help us to connect to ourselves. It can only be satisfied when we are connected with God. If you would like to find out more about that, try an alpha course. Alpha courses are offered all over the world in person, but also online. They are free of charge and they explore questions such as what is the meaning of life? Who is God? Who is Jesus? What has all that got to do with me and my life? I can really recommend an alpha course. If you found this video helpful, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Feel free to follow me on Instagram and on Facebook.